Hey guys, Cut Light Smoke back again for Stoga Clock. I've got another cigar review for you today, and this time we have the Nub Double Maduro in the box pressed variety. Now, this is a special edition Studio Tobacco release. It has the secondary Studio Tobacco band on the Nub. They've come out with a few special edition Nubs uh, with this with this extra band here, and they're all very limited. As I do this review, I'm pretty sure these are actually sold out most anywhere on the internet which is unfortunate because I do like the original Nub Double Maduro which is also referred to as the Nub Dub sometimes very good smoke so I assume the box press will be great too but we will give it a go and let you know what I think uh, it has a nice Brazilian Maduro wrapper very very smooth and this box press is just sharp this thing is just like a cube on the end here if you look Wrapper gives off a nice sweet chocolatey smell. And out of the foot, there's a really pleasant, really sweet smelling fruit and raisin aroma, I would say. Now it has, since it is a double Maduro, it has a Maduro binder, a Habano Maduro binder, and then the fillers are Nicaraguan fillers. So, should be a great smoke. We'll see. It's a 4x60 cigar box pressed. But we'll cut this up, we'll light it, and we will smoke it. I tend to like a lot of box press sticks, so I think that this one will be... If it's anything like the original Nub Dub, it's going to be great. Draws perfect. A light chocolate and a little bit of must on the, on the pre-light draw there. So we'll toast this bad boy up, and we'll get him token. Hope everything's going great for you guys. If you haven't had a chance, head on over to irobusto.com. Check out our cigar battle. Vote on your favorites. It's quite a big fight going on over there between a bunch of different cigars. But we need your help to decide which one is number one. While you're over there, Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. And check out that Me in the Middle show, too. Those guys are great. It's got a little bit that won't light here. That should do. Right off the first light, get a little bit of chocolate. A spicy espresso for sure very spicy espresso not too spicy but for an espresso flavor it's spicy a little bit of zing of black pepper there coming through on the finish which is lasting a while smoke output could kick up a bit through the nose there's a little bit of a wood but anyways I'll smoke on this guy for a little while longer until I get to about the first third mark and I'll come back at you guys with some thoughts. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, Cut Light Smoke back again with this Nub Double Maduro box press. This thing has been really, really enjoyable so far. It's kind of burning quick. We're only about, not even 20 minutes in, I'd say probably about 17 minutes in I think when I checked. So kind of burning quick for being a 4x60. But that's okay. The flavor is totally all there. Just absolutely delicious. On the draw, I've gotten a little bit of a light cedar, a bit of a potent pepper zing with some chocolatey flavors in there. And then through the nose, there's a spicy earth along with some nice coffee. And on the finish, which is lasting really long and it gets better as it rolls, is a little bit, a little bit more chocolate, some espresso, really bold. And then, oddly enough, mixed with that espresso is this nice buttery cream, which... It's crazy to say this, but it reminds me a lot of the Padron 80 Years. The flavor that I'm getting on this finish, and this stick is, you know, a fifth of the price or so. Crazy. Absolutely delicious so far. The strength is medium to full. Same with the body of the smoke. Smoke output has improved quite a bit. The burn is a little bit wavy, but nothing to complain about. Totally fixes itself as it burns along, so no complaints there, really. But anyways, I will smoke on this a little while longer and hope it continues just as good. And I'll let you guys know in a little bit. See you in a while.
Hey guys, Cud Light Smoke, back again with this nub dub. Pretty good so far. We are 35 minutes in, and I've gotten quite a bit of good flavor off of this thing. On the draw, I've gotten more wood, more chocolate, with the addition of a bit of a spicy leather. And then through the nose, there's a very dark cocoa with a hint of grassiness. And then mild black pepper along with more of that coffee from the first third. And then on the finish, I get more chocolate, more espresso, and that buttery cream mix, which I absolutely love. I don't want it to go away. If that was the whole cigar, I'd be absolutely thrilled. And then there's also just a little bit of spice on the end there. And the finish is still long. Strength and body are the same at the medium to full mark. And this thing's just delicious so far. The only complaint I have is it's getting a little bit hot. Not necessarily the smoke, but the actual cigar itself is that it's getting hot quite a ways up towards the head and so I hope that doesn't affect the smoke but the last third may may get pretty rough on the tongue here so we'll see but I'll smoke this a little while longer and I'll come back at you guys with my final thoughts so I'll see you in a little bit hey guys cut light smoke back again with this nub box press double Maduro this thing's been fantastic we're closing in here with the final third at just about an hour Lasts a little bit shorter than I thought it would, but that's okay. Flavors were absolutely to die for on this thing. On the draw, I've picked up a little bit of an earthy wood, and then a slight smokiness with some ramped up spice, and then a hint of a mineral note. Through the retrohale, I get more cocoa, more coffee, and then cedar made an appearance, a little bit of a sweet cedar. And the finish, which is still very, very long, is giving me that mix of chocolate, espresso, and that buttery cream, which is absolutely delicious. And is the flavor that reminds me of that Padron 80 years. And to get that in a cigar that's a fraction of the price is just amazing. And also on the finish, I do pick up a little bit of a slight almond and some spice here in the last third. It's been great overall. Strength and body, still at the medium to full mark. Occasionally hitting the full mark on the strength. Can feel it in my head a bit, but nothing unmanageable. And the retail price on these was $8. I paid $4 a stick. I bought a box of 10 for 40 bucks. You can't beat it. Even at $8, this thing is just awesome it's definitely a deal highly recommended if you can still get some go ahead and get some now before they're all gone if you can't find the box pressed I'm sure that from my memory the regular nub double Maduro is still just as good so get some of those if you can find those too anyways this has been the nub special edition box press double Maduro the 4x60 stick and until next time I hope you guys keep it smoky and you're doing great I'll catch you later for Stoga Clock. Take care, everybody.